Yo, what up guys, today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial, a very quick and simple tutorial on how to install v Stanza mod. It's about customizing your car, making your car look nice, just the wheels, I'm assuming the transmission, the engine, anything to do with the car to make it look nice and stand out, this menu is about that. And I am here to introduce you and to tell you how to install it. So, what you want to do first is you want to download v Stanza on this website of course. This will be in the link in the description, and so will this script tool. You need both of them in order to run it. Also, isn't this just adorable? <laughs> Anyways, you want to go ahead over and just download this. Just start downloading. All right. Once that's completed, just leave it there. You also want to come on script hook. You want to go all the way down to download, and you want to allow that, and you wait for that to download. While that's downloading, you want to try and open up your downloads area, close your browser. Also, you want to take out script hook and you want to take out vStanza. So, now while that's out, what you want to do now is you want to right click on both of them, but just do it separately. So, right click on vStanza, extract to, to, to its name, and it's going to do a copy over here. Now you do this, the same thing to this one. So right click, extract script tool, select both of these and delete. So now what you want to do is you want to go all the way and find your GTA 5 directory. Mine's right here and I'll show you what to do once you find your directory. So once you find it, what you want to do is you want to add in B Stanzer. Just drag it to the top where it says copy to grant the five. Put it on and put it inside, same with the folder, put it inside, and that's about it. That's finished with the vStanza. Now with the script hook, what you want to do now is you want to go into the bin, delete native trainer, it's just a useless menu, drag both of these inside, and that's it. Replace them if you need to. And that's about it. Start GTA 5 and I'll see you guys in game. So, do be mindful, this is a story mode only kind of mod. Every mod I do, if they have in the title single player or SP, that stands for single player, do not ever, ever, ever go online. And if you do and you do get banned, not my problem because you put yourself at risk, okay? I'll see you guys in game. Okay, so once you're in game, what you want to do is you want to press the colon or semicolon. Okay, so once you've got your favorite car, this menu doesn't work unless you're in a car. So. What we will do is, we're obviously going to find a spot, you're going to find a car, whatever car you want, anything in the world. Anything, okay? It can be literally anything, but it's going to have four wheels, at least four wheels. Okay, I'm back. Just to show you I'm not really messing around, I'll be practically customizing all of these cars. You have to practically just sit there and watch. All I'll be doing is customizing these cars, these types of cars, all of them. I'll be back in maybe two, three seconds for each car. So the way you want to have this menu open is if you want to get it open, you need to be in a vehicle. So once you're in a vehicle, you press the semicolon or colon button right next to the right side of L and the left side of quotation marks. And this menu should come up. If you don't know where that is or don't know how to do it and you're not in America or Australia, under escape, there should be a squiggly line. Press that and that should come up. Now, once you press that, type up V Stanza. And then the menu should come up just like that, all right? And then you just backspace to get out of it. So now you know how to open up the menu and close it. You can either, you can just watch me customize some random cars to see if you're into it or not. Or you can just get out of this video right now and explore for yourself so for those who want to see what happens i'll be back in three seconds tops so here we are with the first car i'm only gonna spend like 10 seconds on this car so it does practically make it faster i'd say but um at the same time you could see how the tires just pop out and i don't know for some people that looks really cool you can also make it stand really high up which i'll show you in a second Alrighty, i'm back with the second car so um obviously it doesn't really matter on how the car looks like to be honest i mean as long as you practically have fun with the suspensions i mean that yeah that doesn't look normal but i sort of just rushed all of these to be honest 
I genuinely just rushed all of these. I'm not going to be doing the last two. Even though, well, I know it sort of matters, but like at the same time, if you want to get something to mess around with the cars a lot, just like a car menu that you can just mess around with the suspension and all that, I recommend getting either the PC Trainer 5 mod menu, which I'll put right now on this video, as you can see in the top left or the top right. And I hope you actually install VStanter because then you can actually change the sound of the vehicle, change the engine, modify the engine. It's just, it sounds way better. It just sounds actually way better if you change up the engine, the suspension, the transmission, everything. If you're really a car enthusiast like me, to be honest, I would practically do that. But anyways, if you liked the video, like, comment, sub. Um, I will link those two websites for you to install the mods you need. Try not to go online. That's all you need to do. And that's about it. And I'll see you guys next video. And yeah, that's about it. Also, if you want, try joining my Discord. I, I've just started it. Um, obviously, it's going to be garbage, but... I assume it's going to grow eventually. I assume. But I'll see you guys next time. And yeah. Laters.